Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today is another haul, but it's a very special one because today I'm going to share with you everything that I bought for my birthday. So actually, my birthday is in October. Unfortunately, this year I did not celebrate my birthday. I didn't even go on a trip as I planned. So I decided to invest in a lot of fragrances and products that are on my wish list now for a long time. I mean, some of these are on my wish list for over two years. So today is the day I'm going to share with you everything. There are a lot of, of stuff here, so I decided to split the whole in two. So part one is actually me testing all the luxury makeup that I bought. I tested products from Tom Ford, the Shade and Illuminate, for example, a lot of Dior products. So if you are into luxury makeup, then definitely check this video up here. And today is dedicated to all the rest. So I am talking about all the fragrances that I bought and also a little bit of random stuff. So if you want to see what I bought for my birthday, then please keep on watching. But before doing that, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Noura and on this channel I mostly talk about fragrances, but I also do some makeup, skincare and lifestyle in general. So if this is your thing, then definitely subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Also go and follow me on Instagram where I post some exclusive content that I don't do here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's start. Now, I will start with the random stuff. I know mostly of you are interested in the fragrances, but I couldn't resist also to share with you all the other stuff that I bought. And the first one here is actually a necklace that I bought from Brill. Brill. This is, I think it's an Italian brand, I'm not sure. And here is the necklace. I was looking for a similar necklace for a very, very long time. I did wear something very similar um, when, not on my wedding, but on my like official wedding, like when we did the paper, which I lost, unfortunately. So when I saw this one, I was like, yes, 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 here it is. It's one of the necklaces that look better uh, when you wear it. So when you see it, you say, mm, what's the big deal? But when you wear it, it's really beautiful. It definitely needs a different top, but I mean, I am totally in love. Oh my God, I love this kind of necklaces. So that was the necklace. Next items are from Slip. If you watched my last year birthday haul you will know that i actually bought a pillowcase from slip and i am really happy that i did invest in that pillowcase uh, i washed it tons and tons of times and it looks like new so this year uh, i decided to go for the sleeping mask here is the sleeping mask so and then I bought myself a face mask. And I, I wish I did invest in a mask from like from Slip or something a little bit fancy like a long time ago because if I calculate how much I spent on the reusable uh, masks and also masks like are like the cheap ones, I would have bought maybe two of the Slip and from my experience, this will last a long time. So here it is. I went with this color here. I went with a print because I know in winter I usually wear black and monochrome. Um, so, you know, a face mask like that will complement my outfit. So that was the face mask. Then I have two skincare items. Let's start by the first one. This is from Augustina's Bader. I I don't know how to pronounce the name. This is the small size because this is a very expensive cream. I mean, this is 15 ml and it, this product is ridiculously expensive so i decided to buy the small size and see what the hype is all about i hope it will do miracles for my skin because for that price tag you expect that 
Then let's go to this item. I'm really, really excited about it. This is the new face Trinity gadget. This is an advanced facial toning device. So the first time I heard about this product was actually from Lisa Eldridge, uh, who talked about this product in one of her videos and I was immediately intrigued. And then I saw a lot of reviews of mostly influencers that I trust talk about this gadget. Mainly what this device does is it firms the muscles in your skin so it's not like you it will remove your uh, wrinkles or something like that what this device does it firms the muscles of your face so your face will look a little bit chiseled and this is actually the first time i buy any device for my face but i was really intrigued and then i found it at a good price so i said to myself let's try it so i will test this device and of course i will do a review and tell you all about it and if it's worth the money so that was new face now let's move to fragrances let's start by the blind buys the first one i have here is from lalique this is the premium line of lalique so this is illusion captive uh, i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly this is a blind buy and the reason why i bought this fragrance to be completely honest because of the bottle i saw the bottle and i was oh my god i need that and also the notes looked intriguing and the price was amazing so i went ahead and bought it so let me first show you the presentation so it comes like that in the box you open the box and then you have the sleeve and it comes like that look at that you open it and here is the fragrance i mean for how much i paid for this fragrance this is quite an experience so let me show you the bottle stunning stunning bottle i mean the detail is amazing this line all the bottles in this line are just a work of art let me tell you this is a unisex fragrance that is considered a woody amber spicy fragrance i already tested actually this fragrance and and to be completely honest i'm not blown away by it i don't hate it but I expect it to be a little bit more ambery and warm. So let me tell you the notes. So you have top notes of bergamot and fig. And in the mid you have jasmine and cinnamon. In the base you have myrrh, cedar, patchouli, labdanum, tonka bean and vanilla. So as you can see, when I like read the notes, I was, oh, this is going to be amazing. This is quite a linear fragrance. It doesn't change much. Mostly what you get is the myrrh, the cedar. You get also a floral touch because there is jasmine. A little bit of a spicy touch from the cinnamon. So these notes really speak to me because I love all of these notes. My problem with this fragrance is that it has a little bit of a vintage vibe to it. And I usually don't have a problem with that. But somehow it reminds me a little bit of masculine fragrances that I used to smell when I was little. So to be completely honest, I'm on the fence uh, when it comes to this fragrance. I will try to layer it because I think if it, if I layer this one with a little bit of a warm fragrance, I think I will like it a lot. When it comes to longevity, it was quite moderate longevity and also sillage so not a heavy hitter but i don't mind also that so as you can see i'm really on the fence it's not like i hate it but i don't love it but i absolutely adore this bottle if i remember correctly when i did my research on this fragrance uh, it has quite a history behind like the inspiration of the wings that you can see on the bottle it has like insect wings that comes, 
think from a jewelry piece. I think this is one of the most beautiful bottles in my collection, if not the best. So yeah, that was Illusion Captive from Lalique. Another blind buy. This is from Juliette Has a Gun and this is Moscow Mule. So let's do the unboxing together. I actually didn't test this fragrance yet, so I'm really excited. So, as all Juliet has a gun fragrances, it is presented in like a foam uh, packaging. And here it is. So I am really anxious. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Let's. So let's try it on my skin. Hmm. It has the same vibe like like Dolce and Gabbana, like blue, like uh, Moschino, Love is Love, or I Love is Love. I don't know what I love, love. I don't remember now. I love Osmantis from Atelier Colon. A very fresh, lemony, aquatic fragrance. Quite happy, summer appropriate. I think I'm also smelling Ambroxan. So let's search the notes. Um, of course, it was created by Romano Ricci. I think all the fragrance, almost all the fragrances from the brand are created by him. So we have bergamot, lime, lemon. Mid nose, you have hedion, ginger, and apple. Yes, apple, <laughs> light blue. Uh, has also apple. Uh, base nose, you have white musk, woody notes, amber wood, and ambrette. No, I also smell Ambroxan. It reminds me most of um, Moschino I Love Love, uh, but I still have to test that. So, uh, <laughs> was this purchase necessary? No, because I have all the fragrances that I mentioned. I have Light Blue, I have Love, I Love Love, I have also Love Was Mental. Well, I like it. <laughs> I still have to check on the longevity and sillage and then test it side by side with other fragrances and maybe do a review on them or something like that when summer comes. So that was Moscow Mule from Julie Tessigan. So these were my blind buys. Now let's move to fragrances that I actually am familiar with, that I actually tested so they were not an impulsive buy. And let's start with this one. This is from Nobile Mille Novecento Quarantadue. This is an Italian niche brand. I think this is the most famous fragrance from the brand and here it is. I love the bottle, I love the presentation. I am not going to spray it because I received this box, as you can see it, unsealed. So I'm a little bit anxious. I, th I actually sent an email to the website um, asking about Jink and so, and they claim that Nobile 1942 um, never puts like a protective uh, plastic wrap around their products. And the thing is that I actually saw on YouTube some people do an unboxing and the packaging was actually sealed. So I don't know if it's maybe something new to the company. And since I like to give people benefit of the doubt. I'm still searching about this issue because maybe like the company used to do that and now not. So I just don't want to use this fragrance yet. So I will just use my decant um, from this fragrance. This is so good. This is so good. This was Love at first sniff for me. This is a very sweet, gourmand, spicy fragrance. A lot of people say this smells exactly like an apple pie, and it kind of does. The main notes here are apple, cinnamon, and vanilla. And if you are like, Nora, what's, what's wrong? You don't like gourmands but I absolutely adore it. Maybe because I absolutely love cinnamon and apples. So I don't know, but this fragrance just 
works for me. It's such a beautiful, happy fragrance. Every time I want to feel happy, I spray this one. If you love vanilla, cinnamon, and apple, you love gourmands, sweet fragrances, you have to check La Danza delle Libellule. By the way, La Danza delle Libellule means uh, Dance of the Dragonflies. The name is just beautiful. Anyway, beautiful fragrance. I can't really wait to solve this problem and put this bottle in my collection. So that was La Danza delle Libellule from Nobili 1942. Next fragrance is from my favorite niche brand. And ta -ta 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 -ta. This is French leather from Manon Paris. This is actually their old packaging, but I'm not sure how the presentation now looks like. So they used to come with this card here. So we have the card. So you have here the notes and the description of like the memory or the inspiration behind this fragrance. And here it is. It, their bottles get me every time. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Although the name is French leather, the main character is actually a beautiful rose. Such an elegant and classy rose fragrance. Never smelled anything like it. Very sophisticated, very elegant, very classy. It's so beautiful. It's a little bit woody, resinous, tiny bit musky. The note here is actually suede, not leather, so it's very refined. And it's really in the background. And complete. to be completely honest, if it wasn't for the name and for me knowing the notes, I wouldn't have guessed it's suede or leather that is in this fragrance. So I will read you the notes from Fragrantica. You have rose water, suede, lime, white musk, pink pepper, juniper, clary sage, vetiver, cedar, resin. And really this fragrance you can judge by reading the notes because it's so so beautiful and so well blended that really reading the notes doesn't give this fragrance justice. It's definitely more of a mature fragrance. Not that it's vintage-like or old-fashioned, no, no, no. It's just so classy and so elegant that I find it a little bit difficult for a very young woman to wear it. It has an amazing performance. It's, for me, uh, if I remember correctly, it had from moderate to strong longevity and sillage, a gorgeous scent that I really can't put into words. If you want to see a review of the Memo Paris line, I did a buying guide on all their fragrances, which I will leave linked up here and in the description down below. I went into depth on each fragrance. As I said, it's my favorite niche brand, and this is one of my favorites from the brand in general beautiful fragrance that I that is actually very appropriate for fall so I can't wait to wear it so that was French leather from Memo Paris now let's move to the last box and it's quite huge because they sent me a lot of gifts with purchase you can see what fragrance I bought from the gifts so it's from Armani Prevail this is actually a beach towel and this is a pouch, I think. Let's see. Yes. Like the iconic red pouch. Oh my God, this looks, this looks really good with my lipstick. And a lot of samples. My heart is like pounding. Not only because this is an amazing fragrance, but because this is the most expensive fragrance in my collection. And this is near Imperial from Armani Privé. This is the 200 ml and this is why it's so expensive. And of course I don't need a 200 ml of any fragrance for that matter, but it was only available in the size. So, so here is the presentation. So you can see the box is ginormous. So let's open this. Ah, it doesn't come. Oh, it doesn't come in these. Oh, this is disappointing. <laughs> it
it doesn't come in like this magnetic beautiful boxes anyway yeah. it's okay so here it is it's gigantic as you can see it's a discontinued fragrance and but you can still find it at least here in italy i will leave links i hope when i upload this fragrance it's not sold out but last time i checked it was still available on Armani Privé and some other website, which I will leave a link down below. So I will just spray it in the box. If you love mirror and oriental fragrance, oh my God, you will love this one. I have no idea why they discontinued this. It's very oriental, so spicy, resinous, ambery. I think there is also saffron here. And it's quite predominant, so you have to like saffron. But the star of the show here is mirror. So this fragrance has mirror, amber, benzoin, vanilla, saffron, and pink pepper. A totally unisex fragrance. Uh, to me, it's right in the middle. Men and women can wear it without any problem. I would definitely consider layering this fragrance with a very heavy vanilla based fragrance but it's stunning as it is <laughs> i absolutely don't know what to do with this ginormous bottle it will take more than a lifetime to finish this bottle uh, with my especially with my fragrance collection so maybe i will like sell some decants or something so if you love oriental fragrances and you love myrrh you have to check this one out before it's completely off the market and you can't find it anymore. Amazing longevity and sillage. This remains the whole day on my skin. And when it comes to sillage, it was like mother too strong. So just as I like it, because I don't like like really beast mode fragrances. So that was Mir Imperial from Armani Privé. The biggest bottle in my collection and also the most expensive one. So that was it. I will do actually a dedicated review on a lot of the fragrances that I mentioned today. So if you are curious about any of the fragrances that I mentioned, then definitely stay tuned for a full review. Uh, that was it. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will get notified when I upload a new video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Ciao!